Welcome. Welcome back to Just Be Tarot. This morning I'm going to do a video with messages from a passed away loved one. And I'm going to do another quick pile. So there's going to be three different energies as I usually do. One, two, and three. And I'm just going to be doing a quick general message from someone that you know and someone that you loved or just anybody that's passed away. And um, just what they would say to you right now. Just a quick general message. I have the Goddess Power Oracle, so this is going to be the energy they see you in, or what they want you to, what energy they want you to stay in, and then I have my new deck here, Talking to Heaven cards, which is just going to be a simple, quick little message, um, something they want to communicate to you at this time. I've got my little angel here, my little porcelain angel, and my tree with Jesus in the back. So cute. It's a little setup and um, for your viewing pleasure <laughs> and I'm gonna pick a charm too a charm from a past away loved one okay so if you want to skip this whole intro and me shuffling the cards and praying over my cards you can just go to this description box <clears throat> hit the timestamp for whichever number you choose and two it can be more than one you can assign one different person with each or do all three same for the same that person so here we go, uh, Goddess Power Oracle, and I think since I'm only picking um, a couple cards, I'm going to read the extended message from the book here. So these are really pretty cards, really colorful. Nice deck there. Firm card stock, and then the talking to heaven. We might read from that book as well. Let's see, oh, and this it's brand new, so you get to see the unboxing. Nice golded, gold edges here. And let's take this off. Do I have a letter with the other side? I use my sewing scissors. Because this is a new deck, I like to pray a little differently. <clears throat> Let's read this one. I kind of scratched it a little bit. No, I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. That's always a good message. So, I'll just be a sec here. Wisdom and truth come through for the viewers of the highest good and for all those concerned. The new ones are um, often stuck together, so I'm just going to go through them one by one. Again, don't forget that um, hitting those timestamps to skip this part, but they're usually stuck together.
So here we go for pile one. Message from your past or loved one. What would they want to communicate to you right now? Oh, Anati, wisdom. Wisdom. They want to say, we are so connected. We are so connected. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. This is the card that was at the beginning here so this is a really important strong message from your passed away loved one pile one although you may not understand it now everything does happen for a reason and also I'm learning over here so the person that's passed away almost what I'm getting is that they may have made mistakes in their life any just things that they they would have changed if they could have but they understand that they couldn't have changed anything because everything happens for a reason just like they're stretch stressing right here and they're they're learning that so they're really strongly trying to communicate with you um, you're almost there you're almost at your completion stage for, for whatever it is that makes sense to you for you're, you're almost finished and and they want you to know that all the mistakes that you think you may have made or that you're maybe still pondering or stressing or fretting about they want you to know that you couldn't have changed anything nothing could have gone differently everything's just exactly how it was and even if, if you're not happy about that or you're worried about that they they want to just give you a nice little hug and some send you some comfort um, because they know that just like in their life they they also had things that they would have liked to have changed but they just couldn't have that's not the way it works that's the message that I'm getting they want you to trust that process and the message that you have in your charm oh it's a puzzle piece see look at this you even got this card we are so connected so you might be very similar to this person that's passed away pile one and they're just they're very similar to you and just like a little puzzle pieces the two of you very connected, fitting together perfectly. Um, that's really pretty. That's a nice message. Let's read the extended message. Thirty-six. empowerment message experience experience woven together with knowledge creates a beautiful thing wisdom 
Its parts are entwined like a finely made rope that is so strong it can't be cut. Wisdom, once earned, becomes an essential part of you. Right now, the Greek goddess of wisdom, Metis, says you know exactly what to do in your current circumstances. The real question is, do you have the courage and commitment to make a wise choice? Your answer is not to hide. You are being invited to look within rather than without. Take the wisdom you already have and apply it to your question. Perhaps, however, you must instead draw forth the humility to find someone wiser to weigh in. In this powerful time, others may seek you out for your wisdom. This is also an auspicious period when new relationships are founded on deep truths shared with others. You are entering a potent period of your life to share all that you are and all that you have learned. Extraordinary things are possible when the goddess Metis reminds you of your wisdom and the need to express it. So, and that, what I'm getting from this is, and you may have already too, um, your person is also telling you that someone is going to come into your life who's also similar to them and to you in this way. And they want you to stay confident and, um, you know, that's really precious. You'll be finding someone who's just like them, this person that's passed away. And you'll, you know, all three of you will fit together. Maybe there's going to even be four, two more people that you might meet and have to learn things with and share things with that will give you that same sort of connection as you had as your person that's passed away. That's really nice. Okay, and then another message here is saying that anything that you might regret or, or you wish you could have done differently or changed, um, what was I going to say here? Here, I was just thinking something here. Oh yeah, know that you can't change it, but you can prevent something like that happening again. And that's what your person here that's passed away is stressing. That you can do things differently. You don't have to go through the same pains over and over. You, you, you're you strong, you're wise, you've learned a lot, and um, things can be different as you move forward. So that's a really nice, message for you pile one nice strong person that's passed may has made mistakes owns it admits it at least at this time if not before as well and they're saying don't worry you got this um, don't let these past hurts um, get in the way of the beautiful things that will come your way that's really nice for you, Pilot. Quick little message there. Let's move on to number two energy. Pile two. Cards. Okay, pile two. Strong messages coming here for you. Oh, let's get your charm. This is, um, this is the, uh, what chakra is this? I think this is the root, the root chakra. Anyway, I'm going with that. That's what I'm getting. So, strength 
and stability. So, pile two, what your person wants to tell you right now? Here are these cards. We've got beauty and forgiveness. Beauty and forgiveness. They see you as a person that's able to forgive. You have a big heart. Um, and I don't know if they also were similar. I'm sort of getting that maybe they were not. If that's resonating with you and your person that's passed. That's just a little thing I'm getting. Let's continue on. You are never alone. They want to tell you you're never alone. The earth is our school. The earth is our school. I had to leave that way. So that's what I'm getting. I think that your person that's passed away may have had trouble forgiving. Maybe they clutched onto things too tightly. And they want you to know that they learned from that. Uh, just like they say here, the earth is our school. So the earth is not only yours, but was their school as well. And they learned a lot. And they said, I had to leave that way. So maybe they even left people around them um, at a time where they didn't get a chance to forgive. They want to stress the importance of that. And they're saying that you have the the ability now because you're still here on this earth and unfortunately they're not at this time even still they want to stress that you are not alone that they're with you in your heart in your dreams um, just by your side day by day comforting you and and looking down on you looking over you looking watching over you and they want you to be strong and do the things that maybe they had trouble with. They see was beautiful. Beautiful and forgiving. You have six and seven. So you have possibilities. You, you have the opportunities now. Okay. Let's see what the extended message is for forgiveness. Number seven. Branwen, Branwen. Sometimes life invites us into conditions that challenge us to the core. As the Celtic goddess Branwen forgave those who caused her own death by a broken heart, she asks you to set yourself free from the seeds of resentment that will surely choke the life out of your dreams. Okay. So in pile two, I think your person that's passed really did have um, relationships that really affected them. Maybe they couldn't forgive them. Maybe they could not be forgiven. Um, but I'm looking at more at something they couldn't get past. And I don't know if that's related to their passing, um, but it was definitely, I think, a part of it, a part of this for the person that's passed. Um, okay, let's continue here. We are wounded by others and weave stories about our hurts and losses that live on in our hearts and minds. We come to distrust the potential of love and connection. No matter what your story is or when it began, forgiveness is the key to freedom here. Forgiveness allows for mending and repair, opening the heart to give and receive. If you need to forgive yourself or others, now is the time to do it. Keep your heart open and you can begin again. Only beauty, freedom, and treasures are found in the spirit of forgiveness. The goddess brand one is here to support you. Okay, so that's really nice. Just getting chills here. So your person, <laughs> um, they want you to forgive. Because it's, it's not good to, uh, it's, not, it's icky when you're stuck in those resentments things like that. And then here, let's read the um, Benzai, Benzai Gen, Benzai Gen Beauty. You are at your most lovely when you are being yourself. The Japanese goddess of beauty, Benzai Ten, 
reminds you that knowing, accepting, and honoring yourself as a spiritual being in a physical body requires self-care. Now is the time to support yourself by surrounding yourself with beauty and choosing to see its power in every aspect of your life. If you can commit to doing that, you will be amazed at how much more beauty arises to greet you. Open your eyes to the wonder everywhere, even in the most unexpected places. Beauty waits to be discovered. Consider this before you turn away from a person, place, or thing. Beauty is everywhere. It's your time to find it, and the goddess Benzai Ten will help you. That's beautiful. So another specific message I'm getting is that regarding these people around you that you may have to forgive or let go of resentments towards you may even regain that relationship or or gain a relationship that you always wanted with that particular person that's something specific i'm getting let's read the extended message for i had to leave that way so you can see this person on this ladder here in the, in the clouds is moving on up, sort of leaving these people behind and, and they're reaching. So I'm getting that this is your person that had to go up, 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 up. And they may have left some people behind and they may have been thinking and feeling, take me with you or wait, wait just one second. But at that time they had to continue moving up. So they want you to climb down the ladder and sort of access these energies again, if it's right for you. I had to leave that way. Oh, how am I going to find this in this book? There we go. Let me read the whole thing. Let's do it. Please don't relieve my death in your mind. Relive, sorry. Please don't relive my death in your mind. Please don't re relive my death in your mind. As from my perspective, it was very different from how you imagine. To me, it was like a dream that culminated in a very happy ending. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, I was so sad to leave you, our loved ones, and our life together. But I have to be honest as to get a little choked up here, but I have to be honest and say that I'm truly happy here. My soul is so enriched by all that I'm learning. I'm still able to be with you and help you. I'm finally free of all earthly suffering, which allows me to love you even more than before. My life plan was designed with divine wisdom, and that included the timing and the way in which I exited. It is the same with your life and everyone else's. It's exciting to finally know these truths and to share them with you. Please know that I am truly sorry for the mode of my passing. Um, I am truly sorry that the mode of my passing brought pain to you. And yet everything happened exactly as it was supposed to happen. You couldn't have stopped it or changed anything. There was no other way. Nice. I want you to stick with family at this time. Okay, people that help you stay grounded. And don't forget to forgive even the hardest um, people, the hardest relationships. Okay, I'm really stressing that for you, pile two. Okay, so that's it for pile two. They're so happy. And they want you to um, learn from their mistakes. Because you have the ability to change it on the earth. They don't want you to wait until the end. Right? They want you to do it now. <laughs> Whether you do or not, that's up to you. Okay? You know what's right for you in your heart. Let's move on to pile three. Okay. Angels. Pile three. Okay. Pile three. New energy. Angels, honey. For those who choose pile three. Okay. Pile three.
So this is another one. I don't know if it's an extension from number two, but it is a separate energy because that's what I asked. Two, three different um, energies. But this one sort of seems similar to pile two. So if you choose this pile, you might want to listen to that one too. Um, but anyway, we're all very similar too, right? Um, as human beings. Okay, so I'm getting... Um, more of a peaceful energy in this one for pile three, your person on the earth when they were on the earth. Um, I think they were more at peace with their um, life. But here it says inexperience. I had to leave that way. As a soul, I can be in several places at once. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I see more of a free spirit with this for pile through your pass away loved one. And I'm feeling that you, you may have not have had a super close with relationship with this person. Maybe it was a family member that you didn't see as often. Or, um, you may have seen them sort of intermittently. You may have seen them, you know, once in a while, once every few months or once or twice a year. Um, but they do they are very soft and they see you as that too they see you as sort of young and still and impressionable and um, also connected to them connected to the spiritual realm let's read the extended for the inexperience Sophia. No, that's not the right one. 48. Oh, it's 43. Sorry about that. 43. Persephone. Persephone. Look at her. She's really pretty. Sometimes not knowing is a great gift. Right now, the Greek goddess Persephone invites you into a state of open-hearted learning. Discernment comes with experience, and at this moment, it's okay to admit you don't know or fully understand what is in front of you. Be curious and teachable. The goddess Persephone will be with you to ensure you will not fall prey to unconscious commitments and dangerous alliances. Just as her own naivety caused her to strike a terrible deal with the god of the underworld. That said, every experience has value. No matter what choice you make right now, the consequences will have a lasting effect as you integrate your lessons and travel the road of destiny. So I don't get that, um, well, it's possible. I think your person that's passed away, Pile 3, left this earth with a lot left to learn. Um, but they're a free spirit now and they're exploring anything and everything. They're just going with no fears. Um, you can see like this unicorn here, just beautiful unicorn running in these pastures with the beautiful sun setting. That's your person right there. And they're like, don't worry about it. It's, it's easy for them to... The pile two was a little bit more emotional and really strong um, connection and wishes for you, for the people that choose pile two. But for pile three, it's like this person is very quick and they're like, meh, it's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> that's what I'm getting from this person that's passed. They do want you to forgive them. If there was anything in particular, um, it has nothing to do with their death or, or their passing, I'm getting. Maybe they left this relationship with you before they passed. If that's resonating with you, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Even though they may have been apart from you and seeing you only once in a while, they 
were still with you in your heart. They, they never forgot you. Um, but they do have something in particular that they want to apologize for. They say, please forgive me. Maybe they were lacking experience. Maybe they were naive in their own ways. Um, but that's what I'm getting for pile three. It's light though. It's very light and airy. Uh, no deep, heavy, heavy energies or heavy sadness or anything like that. Okay. As a soul, I can be in several places at once. I'm called to read the extended for that. Oh, and your charm. Ooh, a peso. Okay, maybe they want you to travel. <laughs> Just like them, hopping from place to place, admiring them. Uh, what's the word? Uh, just admiring the beauty around them. Oh, it's a number one, new beginning. So maybe you'll have a new beginning with travel, even if it's just getting in your car, um, renting a car, taking a bus, uh, to somewhere you've never been, even if it's just close, close by, close to home, and it's something you do on your own. Um, they're saying that that would be fun, <laughs> fun for you, I think. Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> That's what just popped into my head. But they also know that you're going to do whatever it is you're going to do. They want you to be safe, though. They're stressing that, okay? You have, because you might be, you might have some of this naivetiv naivety, na naivety, naivety be naive a little bit maybe you trust everyone and you see the good in everyone which is great but you know there are some sketchy people out there your person will say you be careful don't do anything stupid okay you can be by yourself okay you don't need to always be around other people so they're seeing a new beginning in travel for you so let's read this one um as a soul i can be in several places at once as a soul. As a soul, I can be in several places at once. Without the human body, I am free and I have amazing new abilities. Okay. <laughs> That's how they're feeling right now. I can travel to any place and almost any dimension with just a thought. It's like living in one of those flying dreams that you and I discussed. So I can be with you as often as you need me, and it won't hold back my spiritual growth. So maybe even while they were here, you dreamt about this person. Especially if you were only seeing them once in a while, you did dream about this person. Your person that's passed away wants to tell you that they felt that too, somewhere deep inside. And even now, as they've passed, they can still be with you in your dreams. So I can be with you as often as you need me, and it won't hold back my spiritual growth. If you miss my presence, just say the word and I'm there by your side instantly. Although I'm not technically an angel because I still have my human ego to deal with and learn about, I am like an angel to you. I will do my best to protect you always and you can count upon my continuing love. So that's precious. That's really nice. So they want you to go out there, have a good time, explore, be safe. Be safe. <laughs> okay, that's for you, pile three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I know I did. It was very special to me. And um, I'm going to be posting another Passed Away Loved One video uh, in the next little while regarding how your person feels and what they think about your love life, your work life, and your personal life. So I'll do that one in the next uh, few days. And maybe something different in between. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and we will talk soon. Take care of yourselves. Be happy. Okay? <laughs> Enjoy the moment you're in right now. Just like I will too. And we'll talk soon. Bye.